So the second chapter require you to use the award spaces is one of the um, very good example of getting a free account with regard to the host and also domain. So after you go to the award spaces, you can register accordingly and then you can follow me through. Lah. Okay, so let's begin. Eh? First of all, you are, um, you are able to verify your account as follows. Eh? Bagaimana anda ada traffic, this space is around 1 gig. 1 gig in today world is quite insufficient lah for website development but for the prototype and also the example purposes is quite okay. Eh? Alright, so first of all, go to the hosting and then go to the domain manager. That is the first step. Go to the hosting tools followed by the uh, domain manager. And inside those domain manager, they are going to be something like this. You got the register a domain, transfer a domain, host a domain, create a free subdomain. So because all of you are um, quite interested in terms of the free one, just click down there, create free subdomain. Okay, dah eh? Follow eh? Follow, not follow. Okay. And then, uh, create a new subdomain. You can name any domain lah or any subdomain that you like. In this case, for example, I'm just going to spell it as EOH uh, at web pages ni. I also can change it. Okay, I can change it into this one lah. EOH dot signs on the web dot net. Okay, so that is my subdomain. Yours, probably different. So, you can choose any subdomain that you like. Don't follow uh, on the same time, on the same subdomain. Eh? Otherwise, sometimes it will crash accordingly. So, please choose wisely and then please uh, make it varied. Lah. And then, you just click the create button. After you click the create button, automatically, my subdomain is there. eoh.signsontheweb.net has been added successfully. That means, I have my website already with this kind of domain. But I have nothing inside it. For example, if I go to the open website, I can have this kind of um, first page. First page are going to be appear. Okay, you can try this. So what you require in your purchasing the domain and hosting. Eh? So after you create the subdomain over here, so automatically award spaces also offer and give you the ability to use their platform freely just for um, marketing, I mean, um, trying purposes lah. Okay, second step. Just now you go to the hosting, go to the domain manager. Correct or not? Okay, you can delete eh, also doing the same thing. Go to setting and then you can delete. That is the first step. The second step, you can go for the another one. We call it as Zeki App Installer. Zeki App Installer. Ha. Zeki ke Zaki ke tak kisahlah. Uh, whatever it is, it is looks like a, um, what we call it as a cPanel. Okay, istilah dia dekat sini adalah cPanel. Apa dia? cPanel. Just to give you overview with regard to this example. Eh. Uh, visiting to the Zeki app installer. You visit already Zeki app installer, right? Then the next step is you browse and install the apps. So as I mentioned, this is similar like what? C? C apa? cPanel. cPanel yang seperti saya tunjuk pada iBest tadi. Okay, you can go to the browse and install apps. So, what apps that you are going to install? You are going to install these apps. We name it as WordPress. Okay. First of all, you have this kind of menu and then follow it through through this host name which is the eoh.signsontheweb.net. Go to the WordPress and then proceed to the step 2. Okay. First of all, Pergi kepada hosting, go to the domain manager. You create your own subdomain. Done. Second, you go to the Zeki app installer. It will help you to browse and install the required script. This script is already written by a lot of people outside there. And this script can be used to utilize and maximize it for your own usage. Namely as follows. Eh? So now you can click the WordPress over there and then proceed to the step 2. Inside this step, particularly in this particular platform, it's going to install the script so that you can have the WordPress inside your web. Okay, dengar baik-baik eh. Nanti mesti ada yang salah. First, you are going to be prompt something like this. It's going to be prompt. Dah keluar dah macam ni. Next, choose the title of your website. So, example, I'm going to talk about indoor air quality. It is part of my interest. 
admin username will be admin example and then admin password type your own password accordingly okay i already type my own password make sure your password is good enough what is the good password password consists of names Capital letter, lower letter, and also special character, and also number. So, all of these are combinations that is very good, especially to protect your property. After doing all this, then you can click the install application. Okay, I click this install applications, and it will create databases. It will also redirect every script that are make useful for you to build up a website in a... Um, comprehensive manner eh? so after you install everything just wait for a while and then it's done lah. so it's required to use a uh, significant amount of data lah, eh? so anda kena ada internet yang sangat bagus ok di kelas kita so I'm going to share with you the idea of deleting it apa dia? Ah, how to delete it sebab sometimes in the future <coughs> after this also something will happen something will really happen to your things because this one is free product and of course they are not reliable enough and then you are going to do a lot of uh, manipulation and then kadang-kadang they crash dia punya crash tu adalah level yang memang buat balik daripada mula faham ya? Eh? Uh, that's why memang we encourage you to buy your own subdomain and also hosting and then you can freely to use it because you pay because you pay you got the good services lah kalau free you cannot complain much but now I'm going to share with you how to delete it. First step, you login. Dah login kan? Ni katakanlah dah error. Kejap lagi ni, confirm akan ada 50% error. Next, you go to the hosting, go to the domain. First, remove your domain. Okay, because this is the simpler one. Just go to the setting and delete subdomain. Remember eh, this is only a Example, don't follow lah. Kalau I buat, you sit delete. Kejap lagi saya buat balik, awak delete, awak delete sampai bila tak habis. Uh, so, I delete already the subdomain. The second step is basically go to the databases. Go to the databases. That's what I need to show. Okay, go to the databases. As you know, usually the um, uh, WordPress using the MySQL databases. Whoever learn about the ICT before also can um, advise me lah if I'm saying it wrong. So, you need to delete also this database. Even though it is only 30 megabyte, you need to delete it. Otherwise, you cannot reinstall it again. So, this is the example. I delete it everything. Why I delete it? Just to showcase to you how to manage your broken website in the free account. Faham ya? Just to bagi anda idea tau. Bila berlaku kebocoran, uh, apa nama data, bukanlah kebocoran data when there is some damage in your website soon, this is what you need to do ok, let me just recap again what you should do in the first place, first login second go to the domain inside the domain, please go to the create free subdomain and then after that type whatever name of the domain, please type, apa maksud type type lah, kalau anda boleh cakap cakap, hey Siri Ha, dia tak nak sebab saya dah deactivate eh. Okay, followed by the subdomain that you want. So, in this case, I'm going to use this one lah. Signsontheweb.net. I'm just going to create it. And automatically, the subdomain are successfully being created for you. After it is being done, then the second step is basically go to the Zeki app installer. This is also known as cPanel. Kalau you beli nanti, dengan you punya kumpulan, nama dia adalah cPanel. The C panel is where you want to install the script that are going to be used for your groups. Okay? And then browse and install the apps. Usually, um, this package is only allow you to install numbers of uh, script lah. So, this is the example of the scripts that they offered. You can install any script. Example eh, IBES is being created based on this script. You can proceed to step 2 and make a second IBES. Can lah. Tapi boleh crash lah sebab banyak kan maklumat. Okay, you can go to the WordPress. WordPress script. Followed by the proceed to the step 2. And then you are going to be prompt with something that you need to enter with regard to your website. Uh, just to make sure that everything is fine, you choose your title correctly. So in this case, I'm going to spell it out as indoor air quality. Followed by the admin as username. And then the password. Okay, done. Creating everything create 
by clicking the install application button. <coughs> this one are going to be happening for quite some times, maybe less than one minute will be done. Okay, proceed with the refresh F5. Eh? F5. Kalau ada error banyak sangat kan? Okay, try to click to your website. Automatically, it's open up a new web page, something like this. Okay. Ay, tak ada pula. Oh, okay. As I mentioned to you, I need to refresh. So, refresh first. Uh, refresh first. After you refresh, you can go back to your domain manager. After you refresh, you can go back to your domain manager. And then you can see that you have this subdomain. And then you can open it. Uh, kalau keluar macam ini, maknanya dia tak install correctly lah. Tadi ada error ke masa saya install? You all perasan ada error? Tak perasan eh? Apa yang you perasan? You tak perasan apa-apa lah. Never mind. <laughs> kalau macam ini, maknanya saya punya ada error. After you install everything, so basically, your website is ready. But now is the the time for you to visit and manage your website. Okay, I took one example eh. This is my website. And I want to enter into my website. This is how you want to enter your website. Let me log out first. So, to visit your website, basically, this is how you want to do. To visit to your website, eh, dengar ni, dengar ni. Yang eh, ni kena dengar. To visit to your website, go to eoh.signsontheweb.net ataupun nama-nama your punya website, dash wp-admin. After you click dash wp.admin tu, you are going to be prompt something like this. And then enter your admin and also your password lah. After you enter your password, then you are already entering your dashboard. So please do that. You can visit your website inside here. Visit sites. By just open up into a new window. So this is your website. And this is your dashboard to manage your website. Yes, WordPress is quite powerful script that already been used by numbers of uh, people when creating digital content. One of the best things about the WordPress, sometimes the script or the widget are free to be used. Eh? So, saya cerita yang basic-basic je. First, go to the left one. You can see we are having the home, updates, posts. Media, pages, comment, appearance, plugin, user, tools. Betul tak? All of this you have. Eh? So, kita go yang paling basic. Go to the user and then go to the all users. Okay. The users are very crucial in managing those who are having the ability to uh, put the content inside your website. Contoh kan? You can create a new user, add a new user and then you can Uh, put lah numbers of the users eh. Kadang-kadang kan anda kan bekerja dalam kumpulan. Betul tak? Jadi you ada kawan-kawan you yang seterusnya. Contohlah kawan saya yang pertama, Firdaus. Betul eh? Firdaus eh? Nama awak Firdaus kan? Okay, contoh Firdaus. So, Firdaus pun ada email beliau. Contohlah Firdaus at Firdaus.net. Uh, ni contoh. Beliau ada domain sendiri. First name, Muhammad Firdaus eh? Muhammad Firdaus. Contohlah eh. Last name, Muhammad Firdaus. Okay. Website tak ada. Okay. Password pun kita pun buatlah satu password. Example eh. This is only an example. Tak tak. Untuk, untuk ngelakkan Google yang tak pandai ni. Saya buat Fidaus at example.com lah. Okay. So I generate a password for Fidaus. Which is Fidaus 2024 Elias. So this is the idea. Contoh eh. And then you are going to choose the role for Fidaus. So Fidaus are going to become what? So kalau anda tengok kat sini. Dia akan indicate. Sebagai week. So, confirm use the week password. It's okay. And then you can uh, ask the Firdaus to become author. Author maksudnya apa? Dia boleh masukkan content. Dia boleh buat posting. Dia boleh buat macam-macam. Ataupun anda boleh jadikan Firdaus ni editor. Ataupun you can make him as an admin. So, after you are doing that. Contoh saya letak dia sebagai author. I can use this one as the add user. Eh. But before that, make sure you know the username lah. And then I can add new user. So now, Firdaus is my team. He or she can already access into my website, but as an author, not as an admin. Eh? So let me just um, have a quick look how the Firdaus will be. EOH dot on the web dot net. 
so this is the website right so i have the website and then i go to the wp-admin i can enter the credential with regard to firdaus just to simulate it to you that the firdaus is firdaus 2024 okay alias so this is the, the example only okay eh? hey, google eh? example eh? this is example only okay you can log in and then firdaus also are already login but do not have numbers of features nampak tak features dia adalah agak limited betul sebab dia being assigned as a or author Okay, so far so good eh? Understand eh? That is the dashboard eh? Alright, so similarly, you can also um, doing whatever that you want. You want to delete, you want to send a password, you want to edit, whatsoever lah. Okay, done. Next one, the important part inside the WordPress is the appearance. You can go to the appearance and then you can change the theme. However, apa dia? If you wrongly install or your script is needed something larger features which is your free subscription cannot cope it will crash so i may advise you not to uh, do it lah unless it's necessarily to faham ya kalau anda rasa tak tak perlu anda nak ubah tema anda tak payah ubah lah ini tema baru ni sebelum ni tema lagi tak lawa lah le, te, le, tema yang baru yang dia orang bagi ni yang free uh, wordpress bagi ni is quite uh, good lah kalau anda tengok apa-apa website pun kebanyakannya is all about the theme eh? the theme can be customized or not eh Itu an example eh. You can just go to this website rmc.ilkkmsb.edu.my This is one of the example of the website yang macam skema punya website lah. Ni panggil skema punya website. Faham tak skema? Dia keras dia macam tu. Ada website yang jenis macam yang anda lihat ni lah. Ini adalah contoh website yang agak um, apa? neat lah kan. Cantik. One page website je kan. And then you can go click here and there. It will go and navigate you through. Okay. Done about all these things. So Appearance is one thing you can customize according to your need. How to want, how you want to add? Just go to the add new teams, and then choose the teams that you like. Okay, choose the team that you like and then install. Okay, choose the teams that you like and then install. You can choose this kind of team also can. Uh, but remember, eh, extra and whatsoever. Ni sometimes it is a complicated teams. Not complicated lah for beginner. It's not being advised to use lah at the moment lah unless you familiar with all the features. Okay, next, after the appearance, you got also the editor. Under the themes, you got the editor. So, the editor is basically helping you to manage your website uh, overview with regard to the change of menu, hosting, and include the widget and so on. Eh? So, you can click that one also, editor. So, you can see lah, this is the site editor uh, PHP file. And uh, there are numbers of um, menu that you can navigate through, eh? So, anda boleh tukar navigation style. You can also change the style, pages, template, patterns and so on. So, what the uh, WordPress is helping you, basically, the WordPress is simplifying everything daripada format yang dalam bentuk tulisan into a format yang bentuk GUI, eh? graphical user interface. Okay, that one is appearance. Okay, now is the most important part. We call it as the um, structuring your website. How to structure your website, yeah? To structure your website, first of all, you need to know that your website consists of the following items. First, apa dia? Kalau kita recap balik daripada kita punya uh, pembelajaran tadi. What you understand? First, you have the front page. Betul tak? Second, what you have here? Pages. Betul tak? And then the third one, dekat dalam WordPress or inside the WordPress, we call it as post. So, in terms of hierarchical, first of all, we have a website or front page. Second one, we have the pages, uh, the multiple sections that you want to navigate the user or the user experience. And then the third one is the postage. Postage is the post. So if you want to imagine this one uh, as your social uh, media, you can also imagine like, you know Facebook, right? And then inside Facebook, they have a friends. They have the menu for live. They have the video. They have the reel. All that things is called function or in my opinion is also being understandable called pages itu macam page lah and then you have a post betul tak post post yang anda post dekat wall facebook dan sebagainya itu adalah post so same also like a website structure you have a main page and then you have the pages and then you have the um post eh okay now mari kita try buat yang basic basic dulu go to the um, appearance editor okay go to the go to the settings eh go to the settings and then go to the 
Go to the collapse menu lah. Go to the setting balik. Ha. Kenapa saya suruh buat macam ni lah? Ya? Saja ya, nak bagi anda stress. Ya? Okay, this is the setting. The, the general setting. So, the general setting is uh, helping you to um, customize your functions of the website. You just put the name, the tagline, and then you can also put uh, a lot of information. Okay, let's say my time zone is uh, UTC plus 8. Eh, sorry, sorry. GMT. Mine is actually Malaysia. You can just uh, Kuala Lumpur if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And then you can choose the way that your uh, date are going to be formatted. Your time. And then you can save changes. So this one is quite important, especially if you want to structure your content um, in a neat manner. And then you can also go for pages. Eh? Go for pages. All pages. Okay, dalam pages ni, we have sample page. You can click the sample page to have a look. What is the sample page is all about. So, sample page ni macam anda punya page yang dalam Google site juga tadi. Uh, similarly like your uh, page inside your Google site. Okay, it's a simple page. And then, I don't like this theme lah. Eh. Personally, I I do not like this theme. Therefore, I would like to change the another theme. Eh. Let me change the theme to another theme. But I am focused right now. And then when I click the activate, then automatically it's become a functional website. Kenapa? Ada siapa? Okay, it's become like this. Eh? Nampak eh? Uh, it's much more neater lah. Eh? Ataupun lebih lebih senang nak 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 customize. Eh? Okay, dah ready dah nak customize? Ke anda dah hang dah sekejap? Hang. Okay, kalau dah hang, saya tangan try to follow. First of all, Go to your pages. Eh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go to your menu. Go to your menu. Eh. After you install these bloggers, then you already customize the site. Never mind. Just go back to your dashboard and then follow it through until your menus. So remember, you need to construct at least four menu. So the menu will be given a name. So please name your menu. For example, I'm going to name it as main. Bukan main tau. Main. Apa dia? Main. Okay. And then I'm going to make it as a primary menu followed by create menu. Okay. I make another repetition. First of all, name something with regard to your menu. And then in this case, I'm going to name it as main. And then I'm going to put it under the primary menu. And then I'm going to save the menu. Okay. Done eh? Done. After you done doing that, then you need to manage your menu accordingly. Yeah? How to manage your menu, you can go to the, wait, eh? um, okay, so this is the example of the edit menu just now. You got the menu and then you can enter the menu. So, because you do not have the menu yet, you need to create menu. How to create the menu? You need to create the page. If you want to create the menu, you need to create the page. Eh? How you want to create the page? Go to the pages setting. Okay. So, after anda dah buat main menu as your primary menu, then go to your pages. Go to your pages and then add new page. Okay. Go to the new page. Okay. New page ni anda letaklah empat page yang saya tunjuk tu. About us. About us. And then publish. So, another menu is contact us. Okay, create a new page. So, kita akan ada berapa page? Empat eh. Contact us is a second page. And then the third one is learn. Go to the add new page. Okay, learn. Tak apa, lepas ni saya repeat. No problem. Learn. And then the last one but not least is the games. Okay, games eh. Game is another menu. So, I have already how many menu? Four. And this four menu, or these four uh, pages, is actually are going to be sub under the specific menu lah. Okay. And then you can go back to the um, appearance followed by menu. And then inside the menu tu, anda boleh susun. Eh? You can arrange those menu. Okay. For example, eh? look at this. Eh? I'm going to click this one, this one, and this one. All these things are going to be selected based on this menu. Nampak tak? So, menu ni saya boleh 
arrange. I can arrange everything with regard to this position. And in fact, games ni as an example, I can make it as the sub menu of the learn and then followed by the save menu. After I click the save menu, ladies and gentlemen, in a magical world of Disney, I can go to the customer side and then I can see that the menu is already being arranged according to my suitable positions that I already created it inside my um, dashboard just now. Eh? So this is about us. This is learn and then games and then contact us. Wow, nice and tidy. Betul tak betul? Betul ke tak betul ni? Macam tak suka je tengok menu saya ni. Uh, example lah. Okay. This is one of the example to create the menu like this. Eh? Okay. After you finish, uh, then you can try the another one which is I'm going to talk it later on. So first of all, after you finish creating a page inside your pages, then you need to navigate your cursor into the appearance followed by menu. Inside the menu, you can type any name. In my opinion, I usually type the main and then followed by selecting the primary menu and create menu. And everything is done. After done, then you can insert all of the pages that are going to be identified under this menu. Saya akan masukkan semua page-page ini ke dalam menu yang saya mahukan. Which is I'm going to um, add to menu ataupun click this button eh. Add to menu. And then automatically all the menu are going to be inserted. And then I can arrange the menu according to my need. Okay. According to my preference. So about us, learn games and contact us. And then I can go for save menu. After I clicking the save menu, if you visit into my website now, today, currently, you can see that all of the menu is being positioned on the top. Betul tak? About us, learn games and contact us. Is there? Ada kan? Betul tak betul? Okay. Now is the post. I can also insert a post. I can also insert a custom link and then categories. Let us explore the simpler thing. Iaitu custom link. Boleh? Okay. Please go to the custom link now. And then type over there, I best. Dah type lah. Dah type dah, I best. Dah kan? And then followed by the link text, which is you are going to type the address. HTTP double dot slash slash HTTPS double dot slash slash I best dot I L K K M S B dot E D U dot M Y. Followed by add to menu. And then is there already. Betul? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Saya salah buat. Sebab apa saya salah? Siapa tahu? Saya buat terbalik. Ya Allah, saya suka jawapan awak tu. Awak memang pandai lah. Ha. So, I'm going to um, adjust it accordingly. Eh. So, now it's being adjusted already. So, I have the IBEST with the custom link. And then, I can go for save menu. And then, if I refresh, then I will see another menu pop up on the right. Nampak IBEST tu? Nampak tak? Nampak eh? Ni, this one. Dia memang tak nampak lah kan? Tapi faham lah kan? Kat situ ada. Kalau anda klik ni, it's going to be navigated through the IPES. Uh, which is saya salah address lah. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, done already. Or, you can uh, also put the custom link tu, bukan letak IPES pun. Anda letak lah diri anda. My profile. Senang. Apa dia? Ah, uh, My profile. To call lah. Jangan letak lah yang tadi tu iPad iPad ni apa. Benda iPad iPad ni. Uh. So I'm going to put my profile. Sites.google.com slash view slash ehhp jau z24. So this is my address. And then I'm going to click the save menu. Done already eh. So if you visit my website now. I'm going to have the following icon. Ataupun the following menu. The first menu is about us. If I click over there, it's blank. If I go to learn also, if I click there, also blank. If I go to the games, also blank. Contact us, also blank. But my profile, it will be navigated through my Google site. Faham ya? Faham. Bagus. Kalau dah faham, we are going to continue the next one. Explain to you about the menu. I already explained to you about the custom link. And then all of you also noted about the categories and so on, which is is there but not being used yet. It's okay. And then you got the post. 
Post ini adalah yang anda ingin selalu update dalam you punya website ya. Page biasanya dia static. Apa dia? Dia static. Custom link ni biasanya benda yang anda dah buat kat tempat lain tapi anda nak letak dekat situ. Example. My profile is already there inside my Google site. Correct or not? I want to insert it inside my contact us also can. By just dragging it sideway on the right side it is already become a sub of the contact us. Eh? It has become a sub lah. Ataupun saya boleh biarkan sajalah ya. And then I can click the save menu. It's going to save the current position. Okay, next one. Next is the post. Apa dia? Post. So you can go to all posts. All posts. You can go to the all posts. Inside the post over here, you can see hello world is there. Correct or not? Then I can ask to move it inside the trash. Why? Because we want to create our own post. Just go to that uh, icon which is add new post. If you're not so sure how to get the add new post, just go to the control F and type add new. Then you know it is being positioned up there. Just click add new post followed by the name of your post. Okay, the name of your post. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to do it later. Why? Because I want to explain it to you about the Uh, apa nama ni kita panggil sebagai plugin uh, tapi tak apalah kita try buat satu post dulu boleh tak okey let us create one post welcome to my iaq website okey because i am so lazy i want to ask the chat just put whatever it is lah that you like for example welcome to my website anda tulis lah apa-apa ayat uh, ini adalah website saya sekian terima kasih something like that cuba buat sekarang and then after that followed by the categories Inside the categories here, you can create one category, name as uh, IAQ, example lah. And then followed by add new category. So this is going to become a new category. And then you can put also tag, uh, welcome, sorry, new, uh, sorry, indoor air quality. Okay, and then you can click add. And then you have the featured image. So another one is the uh, featured image. I'm going to insert um, a nice image over here. So let me just put one image of, my, of myself. And then inside the image also, I'm going to put some text. Uh, indoor air quality expert yang poyo. Example lah. Okay, set features. And then it is there. After you finishing up, then you can click the publish. And then everything is there already. Okay, is there. And then waiting for you to refresh. So if I refresh, then automatically I'm going to find out something like this. Ah, ni contoh dia. Okay, try buat sekarang.